What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Taco Twans here and today we're going to be talking about racks. Nothing but racks, but the only difference is it's all up top today. We're not going to be comparing other brands and stuff and you guys know in the past we have rocked up top racks across all of our vehicles and we are coming back with all the up top racks again simply because not only they are local in Colorado and we like to support locals, but I think they are arguably one of the best looking racks out there and we like to roll in style, so check it out. All right, so starting out with one of the older models, we have the Alpha roof rack on this 2022 Tundra. The Alpha will come with color matching plates. You could pick inside or outside. Um, it'll come with your grab handles, and of course, we got seam pods all across here. And this is paired with the older version of the truss bed rack, paired with the EX top rack. And the reason for this is it gives you a leveled rack all across. So if you wanted to run a bigger tent, you could run it from the back to the front without leveling issues. Um, I think the main thing when this rack came out was it was the one and only to offer color matching or which other color you wanted for a roof rack to make that pop. Not everything is just black. Little color makes uh, life beautiful. And then we're going to move on to the new, new, the new drop for this year from Up Top Overland. This is the Kilo Rack. You can see it has a lot of design to the rack, not just, you know, a rack that goes straight up like any other rack. The Zulu will give you a lot of style here. It has the angle going into the body here. Um, this does not come with grab handles or scene pods, but you can always add them. And uh, unlike its older brother, the Zulu, this comes with one side plate whereas the Zulu will give you the optional additional side plate that you can color match um, right off the bat we can see how low profile this is look at how it sits against the body of the truck you can you can't even put a finger in there uh, not only is it low profile though it's not, you don't have to worry about it ever leaning down and touching the body. This thing is engineered to uh, hold a lot of weight and not move a little bit at all. So we got 5052 aluminum on the sides here. And for the kilo, instead of extrusion crossbars, we've got carbon steel running across. So the flex between the your typical extrusion bar versus the carbon um this has almost zero flex in it so extremely sturdy very strong it'll still have the holes the uh drill points for you to mount something like a tent so the exact same thing same mounting points as you have in an extrusion except you don't have to use t-nuts and all that fun stuff just direct bolt down and up very simple but uh, I think the main point of this rack is just how freaking beautiful it looks well it's not just a rack this is engineered design to not only hold weight but look good on a truck let's go over to the forerunner is a bigger thicker sister over here the Sequoia this is the Zulu. This has been out a lot longer than the Kilo. Um, the difference is you can see there is another side plate here and this we didn't color match to the co color of the uh, truck. We wanted something that'll pop other than black so we did like a little off matte grayish dark grayish black so that you can see the difference between the powder coated black versus the color of the side plate and since this is a bigger truck it'll come with three sets of grab handles and again still very low profile but not just your typical side plate and then a fairing but 
You get a really nice sleek design in the front and the rear. And this actually follows the body line of the truck. Again, not just straight across and then your fairing, but there's a lot of design into this. And of course, you can run whichever light bar or lighting you want on the roof. And over here on these two new fourth gen Tacomas, we have one Zulu and a, um, or Zulu over there and a Kilo over here. So shorter than a Forerunner, but same exact design. And uh, this is a light bar from up top as well. And what uh, they're doing now is called an adaptive uh, windscreen. So it's going to be two pieces. And whether you want to run lighting or not, you can remove the top half of the fairing or just leave it as a two-piece on there. And that will take care of all of your wind noise. You don't have to worry about, oh, I need to get this and then I need to buy a light bar afterwards, but then you decide not to. It's going to come with an adaptive fairing for you. Running, lighting or not, up to you, now or later, does not matter. Wind noise will not be a factor. And over here, the Zulu, you can see that we color matched the side plate with the, I think this is the bronze oxide. You can see the color is exact same. And this right here is what makes up top. It sticks out like no other, you know, it's not just like, oh, check out that rack. It's like, holy shit, what is that? some crazy engineering and again all the design is something that up top separates themselves from other companies and you could tell right there that's like that's the money shot in a picture and uh, in the back here this is the newer truss bed rack this is adaptive so let's say you wanted to get a full size you don't have to worry about uh, changing it out if you get a different truck get a tundra it'll still be a full size but you can make it longer to accommodate for the tundra um it also comes in a mid height also adaptive so you can pick whichever one you want and even the bed rack is not like a typical bed rack you could see from this angle right here if you look at from the front the legs stick out of the body that's because you're going to retain all of your bed space on the inside while still having a rack and uh you can see back here it's not a extrusion or something that's just one size this is adapted this will slide in and out depending on what truck you have what length you want it so pretty cool that you could do that the side plates also can be uh expanded so Everything is adaptive, and you can move everything around, so that's pretty cool. But uh, that pretty much runs down all of the roof racks we are running currently on all of our trucks. It's either Kilos or Zulus, and of course the uh, older Alpha back there, but this is what we're digging right now, and um, functionality and design is what separates up top from everybody and I think uh, this is something that's going to be growing and turning into something that everybody's going to be mind blown about. Um, I think that's it for this video. Peace!